Okay, so today we're going to have an unboxing of the uh, Callaway Apex Pro 19s. Uh, this is Jamie with Golfer Geeks, and it's been a while. Uh, frankly, um, haven't been playing much golf. Uh, Corona's kind of got me a little shut down, but I'm picking back up as um, Texas is opening back up. So here we go. Um, I've been wanting to try these uh, particular clubs for a while. Um, love Callaway. I think they're uh, great products, great irons. I've played them for many years. <clears throat> um, and if you've seen it, any of my other videos or read my material, you kind of know that um, I don't really think it matters that much. Um, the manufacturer, I think everyone produces very high quality uh, products these days. It's all a matter of what fits your eye and what you like and uh, whatever brand loyalty you have. So uh, that being said, um, even though I played Callaway for a long time, I've now tried out Hogan's, I've tried out TaylorMade irons, I've tried out a whole bunch of other type of irons and drivers, and um, it's all a matter of preference, uh, with small degrees of separation in, in some cases. Or I should say, it's mostly a matter of preference because some clubs cl clearly do outperform, but once you get to the um, upper echelons of uh, club manufacturers and, and some of their best stuff, it's, it's all pretty close. It comes down to preference. Anyway, so here are the irons. Excuse that. Um, so let's give this open and see what we got here. You can see it's very nicely wrapped and they are all individually wrapped. Uh, Taylor made and Ben Hogan do not do this. All right, so let's see. What do I have here? This is the gap wedge, a wedge. Let's see if I can get with the shine off. Get you a look at the back here. And again, I apologize for the uh, for the glare, but otherwise you wouldn't be able to see me as well, and it would just look terrible okay all right so handsome looking club and so the shaft we have on these are the elevate true temper elevate tour stiff flex vss pro have never held one of these shafts in my hand before um, the grip is golf pride tour velvet basically their basic um, starter grip uh, all right, it looks great. It's a gap wedge. You don't expect much intim in intimidation even from um, forged blade type irons and there's zero here. I'm gonna open a couple more. I don't think I'm gonna open all of them because really there's no need. Although we'll see what's going on. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, I often, though not often enough, um, send out um, deals and coupons and stuff like that. So you, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to my email list too. All right, here's the pitching wedge. Um, again, beautiful looking irons. Um, pretty much on par with what's in the market these days. I think the tailor-made upper um, or better quality irons, the 790s, the 760s, I think they're all beautiful irons. The Ben Hogan's, um, PTX Pros, the Ben Hogan Blades, I mean, just stunning irons. Here you go, take a little look at it that way. Here's the back, here's the face. Uh, same shaft and everything, of course. Again, you don't expect much intimidation uh, at this point here. And so I've got, let me get something a little more. I'm just going to put these lower lofted clubs aside and go for a longer iron just to start getting into the intimidating area. All right, so this one may indeed be a long iron. Let's see here. <clears throat> ah, six iron. So we're getting into the, uh, the real deal here. Take a look at the back there and the club face. So these are going to have less offset, especially since they're the pros than normal irons. 
see there. Let's see if I can get you a, an image or a look at the top line. So what you're going to see when you're looking down at the club, and that's not really going to, maybe like this. Okay. All right, so I've, I'm playing smaller bladed irons these days, and I've tested a lot of blades. So this doesn't really throw me off a lot, but I can see um, if you're a, an upper mid handicapper. And if you're a, a high handicapper, don't even consider these. I'm going to tell you right now, don't consider these clubs. Um, I could see where it's a smaller club head, of course. Um, it would intimidate you just getting it behind the ball and, and the way it frames the ball, it's just not as much meat behind the ball. So it's going to be a difference for you. Let me grab my six iron, see if I can reach it easily. Okay, so I'm playing the Telemade 790s. And if we put these puppies side by side there. Um, the 790 is longer from heel to toe, uh, without a doubt. Yeah, looks like a, an eighth to a quarter of an inch longer. Um, profile are from here to here. Callaway is higher. This distance here is greater on the Callaway than with my 790s. Um, let's see here. You can tell... Check out the sole here. 790s have a wider sole. And let's just take a look at top line. Yeah, the Callaway has a thinner top line also. Um, so that's just a basic difference uh, between what I would consider probably comparable clubs. Um, I know I've said this, but these are, and I think Callaway's been making very nice, um, very handsome clubs for a while. So this is the six. Um, you've seen the lower lofted clubs. I'm not going to pull out all the other ones because it's just, it doesn't make any, they'll all look pretty much the same on this video. Anyway, guys, so that's the unboxing video or the unveiling of the um, Callaway Apex Pro 19s. I'm going to hopefully come back within a week, two weeks tops with a full review of my experience. Um, we cannot practice these days. There's no driving range changes allowed at the moment that may change in the next few days. Um, so it'll be strictly playing at this point. So I'm going to play two, three, four rounds um, and get back with a full written review and I'll have it back on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and subscribe to the email list. There'll be links below um, by the time you see this. All right, guys, uh, have a great day. Again, this is Jamie with Godfrey Geeks and um, take care.